Here are a few features you should know about before you start using your camera. Single frame mode, continuous mode, the self timer modes, and the custom self timer mode. The single frame mode is great for portraits and stationary subjects. The continuous mode is best for moving subjects. And the self timer mode is useful for tripod shots and self portraits or group shots. And a new feature, the custom self timer mode lets you take up to 10 shots after a 10 second delay. AF modes One shot AF, AI servo AF, and AI focus AF. One shot AF is for stationary subjects. AI servo AF is for moving subjects. By the way, AI stands for artificial intelligence. AI focus AF allows the camera to select the optimum autofocus mode automatically. AF point selection modes. You can select individual focus points manually or let the camera select the focus points automatically. Exposure metering. Exposure metering patterns are evaluative, center weighted average, partial, and spot. Evaluative metering analyzes the subject and its surroundings to determine the best exposure. Center weighted average metering emphasizes the middle of the picture area regardless of the subject position. Partial metering measures the light in the center of the picture area but ignores the background completely. This is useful for backlit subjects. Spot metering is like partial metering but covers a smaller area in the center of the picture as shown by the circle on the focusing screen. ISO speed settings. The ISO determines your camera's sensitivity to the light. You can adjust your ISO manually or let the camera adjust it automatically. Generally, you use a higher ISO setting in low light and a lower ISO setting in bright light. Exposure modes. Program, shutter priority, aperture priority, and manual. Program mode is a more sophisticated version of automatic. It lets the camera set the shutter speed and aperture automatically. Shutter priority mode lets you pick the shutter speed and the camera controls the aperture. Aperture priority mode lets you pick the aperture and the camera controls the shutter. Manual mode lets you choose your own shutter speed and aperture for maximum creative control. ADEP, which means auto depth of field mode, analyzes the objects on different planes in your scene and determines the proper exposure and focus for the shot. Full auto mode, this is where the camera does everything automatically. You just press the shutter button. Basic zone modes. These optimize the camera according to many popular picture taking situations such as portraits, landscapes, close ups, action photography, night portraits, and available light. Picture style settings. These settings adjust the contrast, sharpness, saturation, and color tone to achieve a variety of photo effects. The preset picture styles include standard, portrait, landscape, neutral, faithful, and monochrome, and there are three custom settings that allow you to set up your own picture styles. Color space, sRGB and Adobe RGB. sRGB is recommended for beginners. Adobe RGB is recommended for more advanced photographers who plan on printing their own photos. White balance. White balance adjusts the overall color of the image according to the type of light in your scene. Auto white balance is good for most situations, but there are presets for specific conditions such as daylight, shade, cloudy, tungsten light, fluorescent light, flash, and a custom white balance for maximum creative control. File recording. JPEG and RAW file types. JPEG settings are best for beginners. The RAW file type gives you more options and creative possibilities, but it will need to be processed later using special software which is included with your camera at no extra charge.